Alright, so the first question was like managing your coal. Basically with managing your coal and shit, fam, what I think y'all should do, bro, if y'all are trying to um manage y'all coal and stuff, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro, you just gotta have patience. Like literally. You can't you can't do anything else but have patience, bro. Work on your patience. Work on how long it will take you to have patience. Work on how long you'll think Work on yourself when it comes to patience on basically what I'm trying to say is work on improving it. So, and basically in certain situations, like let's say somebody pisses you off, right? First of all, you let them piss you off. So what I mean by that is try to control your mind in a sense and work on not getting angry. Because if you show the person that you got angry then you that base that basically you're basically enslaved to the other person if you think about it so if let's say boom such as let's say me and you are in a situation and i piss you off now i am in control now i have the ability to piss you off even more basically what i'm trying to say um let me see another one it says life after high school Life after school and things that changed. I mean, bro, it's pretty simple, bro. For any of y'all, bro, who watch me that's still in high school, fam, I'm going to tell y'all this just like that, bro. All them people y'all used to hang out saying, oh, this my dog or, like, this my friend or, like, we locked in and all them other stuff. Y'all, like, in a big-ass group of friends or y'all a big-ass group, just a big-ass group of y'all. Y'all hanging out every day, bro. I'm going to tell y'all right now, bro, nine times out of ten, Y'all niggas are only friends because y'all in school. Literally. Y'all are only friends or y'all speak to each other on a daily basis because y'all are in school. Outside of school, you don't really hear from the person like that. Just keeping it a stack. If you were to switch schools right now, do you really think you would hear from that person on a daily basis? No, my nigga. Some of them, some of them, some in a sense, you could hear from them. Yeah, like, cool. But, bro, once y'all in school, bro, or once y'all... For the seniors that know me now, like, bro, when y'all get out of high school, it's not going to be the same. Them same people that y'all claim y'all were cool and stuff, it's going to be half of those people that you're still cool with. Literally, bro. After that, don't even sit here and stress about, oh, who am I going to be cool with or are we going to lock in? Unless y'all speak to each other outside of school on a daily basis, try to keep that bond for as long as y'all could. And um, things that change, I mean... Ain't really nothing changed. I just been, I've been trying to upload more shit for y'all, bro. But it's been like, bro, it's just, it's so much shit to explain, bro. Like a lot of shit been going on, but basically, bro, all that shit is out the window, bro. I want y'all to have that mindset that when y'all get just, just picture yourself when you get out of high school, bro. You gonna be on your own. Just, just picture, just picture that in your head. That's how, in, in my opinion, because that's nine times out of ten. Most likely gonna happen. It's literally gonna happen. There's no other way of thinking of it like that, bro. It is. Um, fear monger in today's society. Well, another question somebody asks is fear monger in today's society. Um, mm, let me see. Fear monger. Obviously, I gotta look it up. Okay, basically, it's basically making people scared of st of things. Someone who intentionally tries to make people afraid of something when this is not necessary, necessary or reasonable. Bro, that is an everyday thing. You just got to say you only, bro, you only fear what you don't know. Literally, you only fear what you don't know. So if you don't know what's going on, you're going to fear it. And nine times out of 10, you're fearing what's about to happen. You're fearing something's going to happen. Fuck, how I say it? I'm trying to, I'm trying to phrase it, bro. Like, basically, back to what I said. You're fearing because you don't know what's gonna happen, or you're starting to have anxiety, or you're starting to panic because so you're picturing something in your head that's going to happen, but it's not gonna happen. In a sense, basically, what I mean, like, put yourself in a situation like you think you could probably walk outside your crib. And some people that you're not cool with is on go try to jump you and you just keep picturing that. Low key, you're manifesting that, bro. That's one thing you're low key manifesting that. But yes, it y'all gotta picture it like this. Yes, it can happen. Yes, it's possible. But don't just wake up thinking like, oh, you just gonna wake up 
and then boom, somebody just gonna randomly jump you, bro. It's possible, but bro, don't picture that shit in your head every day, bro. That's why I say, bro, right now it's best for y'all to just live in the present. That's how I look at shit. Live in the present, bro. Live in the present. And don't don't look at everything you see, fam, and just don't, bro, do not get distracted, fam. There's a lot of distractions in this earth, bro. And I could say that for myself, bro. Especially after getting out of high school, bro. Do not get distracted. If you if you're focused on something, bro, focus, bro. Get in that mode, bro, and do what you gotta do. And just use patience as your number one key in any situation. And another question is just life after high school, which is the same thing back to what I was saying earlier, bro. Nothing's changed, bro. I'm still the same niggas doing the same shit. Just focusing on me, pretty much. Current attacks. Another question is current attacks in Israel and how to help charities and Red Cross donations. I'm going to be real on that, bro. And I'm going to keep it a thousand with y'all, whether y'all like it or not, because that's what I'm always going to do. When it comes to... Uh, if my if my hand is in the uh, way, like trying to make sure the camera is recording, but anyways, on uh, my thought process on that, bro, I can't really give y'all my opinion on it because, bro, I don't I don't watch the news. Anything negative, I don't watch the shit. Um, anything negative or all other shit, something that's just negative, I don't watch it. I'm gonna keep it a stack with y'all. I don't watch the news. Nine times out of ten, it's most old people that watch the news. Or keep up on their phone or social media. Bro, I don't be on that shit like that. I I don't got time for that, bro. That's why I said it all falls back to you realigning with yourself and focusing on you, bro. Because there's a lot of shit and a lot of distractions that's going on in this world. And uh, my main message to y'all, bro, is to just, bro, be yourself, bro. There's a lot of niggas on Instagram today or in any social media app acting like they, they like, oh, they got everything in life. Them niggas are suffering behind that screen, bro. Yeah, niggas might post here and now and there to just, you know, get a little good or feel good in that moment, bro. But you got to have a balance. Some niggas on, on Instagram right now that is posting and making shit seem like life is good, fam. Some of them niggas are suffering behind the screen and niggas will not know that. That's just life in general, bro. So my main message to y'all, bro, is just shit. Be yourself, bro. Focus on y'all. Get done what y'all got to get done and... Don't worry about what people got to say because at the end of the day, bro, you are in control of your own mind when shit happens. Anything, whether anything hits the fan, whether it's family problems, whether it's you not cool with people no more, bro, you the only one fighting that shit. Not your friend or the people next door. You the only one in control of that shit. So you take control and you just do what you got to do, fam, because that shit, at the end of the day, fam, that shit is not easy to deal with, bro. There's people out here that are weird, bro. Real life weird, bro. So, there's more shit that I wanted to um, speak about in this vid, bro. But I can't really, it can't really come off my head right now. Like, I'm trying to, like, just get the most important shit out there to y'all. Y'all probably thinking, like, damn, like, he just chatting. I want to say more, bro, but it's not up here right now. So, if y'all, like, want, like, a, um... Or part two or something, like, you know, I'm probably going, this is probably going to drop literally after I get done recording this, bro. The same day. This is recording the same day. Today is Thursday, November 23rd. It's Thanksgiving, bro. I have Thanksgiving to everybody who watching this or people who support me. But, yeah, with that being said, man, I'm out, man. I love y'all. Okay. With all that being said, I knew I was supposed to cut it short, but there's more stuff that I wanted to add on to it. Basically, um... What I would advise y'all to do, bro, is evive, 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 really evive, evolve your brain, bro, your mind. So with that being said, fam, if there's a book, there's books out there that y'all like read, go, all right, do this, make it 75% and 20, 25%. So what I mean, 75% um, information on books, like books that can actually help you on a day-to-day -day basis with your life and make a 25% get 25% of books that's like entertainment so you know you could keep a little balance or make it 50 50 you feel me but start reading books bro if you have books bro if you don't have the money right now bro stack up and save and purchase them bro it will it will help you with you evolving your mind and 
start doing uh to get knowledge and shit to help your brain and shit and make you use stuff in a day-to-day basis what else i was gonna say there's something else i was having to say bro something else I was supposed to say. I'm trying to remember. Damn. I don't be thinking about that shit off the top of my dome, bro. Yeah, just wake up with a, uh, with your mindset that you are going to grow and not repeat the same patterns in life, bro. If you repeat the same patterns in life, you're going to end up, it's going to start to take a toll on you and start messing with your head mentally. Work on yourself, work on your mental health, work on everything you need to work on to become a better version of you, bro. Because at the end of the day, going to parties and all that other shit, that's not really helping you, bro. You going to, you think about it, you going to a party, right, to enjoy it. You don't get shit out of a party, but pleasure. You're having fun, you're enjoying yourself, but that moment... All that time you spent at a party, you could have been better in yourself. And I'm saying, I'm not saying it's bad to go to parties. You can go to a party, bro. Everybody here wants some sort of entertainment every now and then. Go to a party, bro. Go live your life. Go do what you have to do to have fun and shit. But make it a balance, bro. I say work more on yourself than have entertainment. Because, bro, for y'all that's in high school, bro, or y'all that's getting out of school, bro, I'm going to tell y'all right now, all that college shit that y'all got going on, I'm not, this is just my opinion, once again, do not get, you can get offended all you want, bro, this is my opinion. Bro, in school, bro, they teach y'all how to be workers, bro. They're preparing y'all to be workers, bro. Use your brain and... Tell yourself to be your own boss. Everybody has to start off somewhere in life, bro. Everyone has to start off somewhere in life. When you get out of high school, bro, have that mindset to be your own boss. But you got to start off from somewhere. Even if you got to do it, bro, hustle, do what you got to do. And shit, create a business that you always wanted. Like, anything that you do in life, bro, that you, you're talented at, you can make that a business. Whether you're good at art, whether you're good at shit reading you can create your own book and start selling them whether you're good at game shit start streaming whether you're good at anything you want to the people that want to go to college let them go to college but how i just look at it bro school just teaches you they set you up to become a worker bro they don't set you up to be your own boss so for everybody out there bro take care of yourselves bro and do what y'all gotta get done and that's the end of this video bro if y'all want a part two bro just comment I don't really know, to be real, because there's so much stuff I had to say before I started recording, and it just it's just not up here. So, if y'all want a part two, just drop <laughs>